Now, in the first part of this question, what I've done is drawn the patio. It's a sector of a circle, PSRQ. The centre of the circle is at Q, and the radius of the circle would have been 6 metres. Right? And we're told that the distance PR is 6 root 3 metres. And we're asked to find the exact angle in radians of angle PQR. That's this angle in here. So, how could we do this? Well, we've got a triangle, PRQ, where we know all three sides. And because it's non-right angled, then what we could do is use the cosine rule. So, what is the cosine rule? Well, if you're unfamiliar with it, if you've got a non-right angled triangle with angles A, B and C, and if we label the sides opposite the angles as little a, little b and little c, then it can be shown that the cosine of angle A, say, is equal to the sum of the squares b of the two sides, b squared plus c squared, minus the opposite side to the angle squared, all divided by twice the product of the two sides that surround the angle, b and c. So, using this formula, what we can do is say that angle, the cosine of angle PQR, that is, let's just put it down, cosine of angle PQR equals the sum of the squares of the two sides that surround the angle, so that would be 6 squared plus 6 squared. Then it's minus the opposite side to the angle, all squared, well here's our angle, and so the opposite side is PR, so we square this side. So that is 6 root 3, all squared, and it's all divided by twice the product of the two sides that surround the angle. Okay, so that would be QR and PR, so that would be 6 times 6. So I'll put those in brackets, 6 times 6. Now if you get on your calculator and work that out, you should find you get minus 0.5. And so to find the angle PQR, we need to inverse cos both sides of the equation. So we get PQR equals the inverse cosine of minus 0.5. Now, we were told to work out the exact angle PQR in radians. So if we're to give the exact angle, that's suggesting we should give it as a multiple of pi. Now if you've got a calculator that gives exact answers, make sure you switch your calculator into radians mode and you should find that therefore angle PQR turns out to be 2 thirds pi. And that would be radians. You could write either a little c there for radians or you could write the word radians. All right. So that's the exact angle PQR in radians, 2 thirds pi. Now if you don't have a calculator that gives exact answers and you cannot recognize what minus 0 0.5 is going to give, what you could do is work in degrees mode. So if you switch your calculator to degrees mode, inverse cos minus 0 0.5, what you should find is that you get 120 degrees. Now what you could do is use the fact now that pi radians, I'll put a little c there, is equal to 180 degrees. So therefore 60 degrees would be a third of this, so pi over 3 radians would be 60 degrees. We want 120 degrees, so that would be 2 thirds pi radians right, for 120 degrees. So that's another way that you could get this result. Alright, well that brings us to the end of this part of the question and I hope you've been able to follow that.